Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So this will be video two on CPUs. Uh, trying to go through some of the others that there are out there. The ones that I've seen and dealt with so far. Uh, I have not seen all of them by any means. If you're looking on board sort at the list of stuff they have, they've got stuff listed I've yet to see. Um, but this is going to be the more common stuff that you run into while you're going through this list um, of items that they have and if you're taking apart computers looking at them this is what you're going to find most of the time so y'all stick around show you a few more examples and run you through a few more numbers rock, 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 on the track, boy. All right, so I'm sitting here watching Adventures with Mike um, with his his video he just put out while we're doing this. But we'll show you a few different uh, chips uh, or processors, maybe I should say. So this is a, a no-pin CPU. So this is also the same ones, and I'm sure y'all can't read what's on here, but it's the same ones you have to look at to find out if it's an I series. So there's no pins, it's little gold things, but it's it's flat right there. Um, try to get y'all a good view. But any of them you get like this, you're gonna wanna check and see if it's an I series because the I series have a different scale. Uh, some of them fall into scrap price and some of them, if they work, you get paid differently. And if they work, you just wrap it up, label what it is, mail it to board sort. They test it. If it works, you get paid whatever it says it's going to pay you. Um, so we can start there, actually. Uh, I don't have any I-Series with me at the moment. But you're going to go up here to your test and buy prices. And then you just look up what it says on the chip. It'll say i 7 you know, something or I-3-2000 if it's... If it's 2000 series, it's a scrap price. Um, if it's a i7-4000 series, they're worth $12 a piece. If it's a i5-8000 series, they're worth $25 a piece. So pretty simple, um, not hard, but the chip will actually say right here, you'll have to wipe that paste off and read. It'll say i7-8, and it doesn't matter what the three numbers are after it. It won't be X's, but you're looking to this point, i7-8. That tells you it's worth 50 bucks if it works. If not, it's scrap price. Super simple, super easy. You just have to take a minute to look at it and see what it is. All right. So with that said, let's back up here. All right. So this is a uh, no pin CPU. So they're down here. No pin CPU. Make sure I got it on screen for you. And here's another picture of what they look like. All right. Um, no pin CPUs run six dollars a pound. Now these do have a little bit of weight to them. And I will show you weights on them here in just a minute when I bring you back. But that is the no pin CPU. Now this is going to be the green P4 green. Well, this one's first, so let's go over here. P4 green with metal, all right? So they're gonna have pins, as you can see, hopefully, all those little gold pins there. Um, some people like to pop this apart, so you're left with just the chip, which would look kind of like so. Um, but this is number two copper. When I talked to um, Board Sort last time, he said he adjusts the prices. So green for P4 slash green fiber with metal is $8.25 a pound. This is going to be what they look like. So it's going to be a green fiber chip with pins on it. And it's going to have number two copper on the back. And as I said, some people separate it, take them to turn the number two copper is number two copper. And then sell these, and and these do have quite a bit of weight to them with that uh, with that on there. Um, 
but they're eight twenty five a pound. If you go up to the green fibers, where are they at? Where are they at? There you go. Green brown fiber, no metal. So if you take the metal off, so they then look like this, and they don't have that metal on there anymore. As you can see, they have pins. So it can be green or brown. <clears throat> so green slash brown fiber, no metal. They're $17 a pound. So they're $17 a pound this way, but there's like no weight to them. They weigh like nothing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all some weights on these. He said he adjusted the price, so you're getting paid good for these with the metal still on there. But I'd say 90% of the weight, if not 95, is gonna be this piece of metal that's on here. So uh, let's check some weights and uh, see where that sits. All right, so I got the scale set up so y'all could see. All right, so the green brown fiber with no metal is $17 a pound. So here's two different types of chips. And you're looking at 0.6 of an ounce. So as I said, if you take that metal off of there, they no longer have any weight to them. But if you like scrapping stuff and you want to take the metal off, by all means, you know, yeah, 0.6 uh, of an ounce now. Six tenths of an ounce. Um, but you can split them if, if you like to hoard your copper or whatever. So this right here is going to be the green. The green <laughs> I can't talk. Wow. <laughs> Uh, the P4 green fiber with metal is $8.25 a pound. And as you can see, with the metal on there, these two chips are 2.2 ounces. So, a whole lot more weight is going to add up a whole lot more, a whole lot quicker. And you find quite a few of those as you're going through stuff. So, $8.25 a pound. Now, the no pin CPUs are running uh, $6 a pound. And that would be these. I've got two of them. So 1.6 ounces. Uh, so 8 tenths of an ounce a piece is about what they're running at. So you can do the math and figure out exactly what their value is from there. But I've got you the weights and the amounts. Again, that's the no pin CPUs at $6 a pound. And two of them were 1.6 ounces. It says 1.5 this time. Whatever, it's a tenth of an ounce. It's it's not that big of a difference. And then it says, uh, it doesn't know what it wants. 1.5, 1.6. So, I'll let you do the math and figure out exactly what they're worth. But I hope this helps y'all. Uh, this is going to end the series on um, processors because I don't have any other types to show y'all. And I ran y'all through a bunch of other stuff before. Uh, something I probably want to show y'all is IC chips. And this will come up again later. But IC chips, no Dallas switches, $8 a pound. But that will come up in a different video. Hope y'all are doing good. If you have any questions, feel free to holler at me. And I'll see if I can't answer. See y'all next time.